Hey right, guys, it's uh, Xigal here with a tutorial to show you how to, an updated tutorial I should say, on how to install and play on TCG Online Live servers. Right, just follow my steps and you should be right. First I want you to open up Google or any uh, internet um, thing you have on the computer. Go to Tactical Combat Gaming. That's TCG Gaming, the engine of And I want you to click this register button right here, right there. Then you're going to type in the username. Yeah, I actually made a tutorial this morning, but fucked it up because uh, I didn't have my record voice on. So just ignore that. Um, then you want to type in. You want to press OK. Now it's going to ask you to verify your uh, um, username. So what you will go from there, you will go to your Hotmail. Then you will just log in to your uh, email address. Like so. See an engine confirming your TCG for gaming? You click confirm email. Pretty straightforward, easy and done. Dusted. So once you do that, you want to just go back here. Then you want to just log, log in. Then you just have an email. Okay, and you can just go through the forms if you like. Read some form, um, read some posts, whatever, do whatever you want. But the uh, main focus would be these two here, server rules. I want you to open that and read them. And you want to go to this one. Okay, take note of these. Copy. Okay, just take note of them. Then you can just go back to the website. Go server rules. And you just basically read these. Now you don't need to know every single one of them. It's recommended, but just read the most important ones. As long as it's all common sense really. But yeah, just read them and you'll be fine. Then you would want to go back to Google. And download the file. Arm to launcher. I have fixed calendars countless of problems with this launcher. You will just download it. Now I've already downloaded it, but I've thought again for the 500th time in my lifetime doing this, but it's, uh, let's just download it. You want to download that, and you want to go to Teamspeak Teamspeak's website. I don't know if it's Teamspeak.com, but find out. Okay, it is, and then you could download Teamspeak, Teamspeak 3, and then download that and install it. With the armor to launch, you just open it, regardless. For you, you'll install it, but I'm just going to pretend I'm installing it, like now, by clicking repair. Okay, when that's done, now make sure you own Command Up Armor 2 and Armor 2 Command Operations. That Armor 2 OA, Operations Error Hit, and just to stand in number 2. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Now, what you want to do is you want to open that game launcher after you install it. First, it's gonna not gonna open up like this. It's gonna ask you to uh, do your own it, blah blah blah, and you want to click yes, and then you just want to take it to. Sorry, I was, I was there. Go to launch options, or you want to direct it to your armor to exe. So if it's Steam, you'll be C program files, Steam apps, whatever it is, um, Bohemian Interactive, armor um, two or whatever. But since I own the CD version, I have it installed in here. Okay, make sure you install the beta, which the beta will be located in the TeamSpeak, which I'll get to that later on in the tutorial. So that's done. You want to have your run beta. No splash, no pulls, default world is empty. Make sure this is ticked. Uh, if you want to use this, check it if you want. And then you want to, want to add on options. And you want to add your your add-ons folder and for now I've just made it 
into my armor because sometimes people don't see the TCG in the TR uh, add-ons because it's because they need to do this they need to direct it to the armor uh, two folder or wherever your add-ons are. Um, so then you want to go add-ons and then you want to make sure this is ticked. Okay, group group one. And then you just simple drag, drop, tick. Make sure it has TCG there. Now I've actually missed the step. I've missed the add-on sync step, so I'll get to that in a sec. And then you want to make sure it says uh, command operations. Due to the fact that I missed the step, you need to install add-on sync. It's pretty straightforward. Add-on sync. Download add-on sync. Click this one, this little underneath, and it'll install add-on sync. Installing add-on sync is pretty straightforward and simple. When it's done, close that. And I believe you don't need the internet anymore. You're done. Just with the internet. So you want to halfway through that? I kind of didn't fucking slow. Okay, when you install add-on sync, you double click on it, and install it like a normal program, and you just find this here. You double click on add-on sync. I'm not too sure how it actually opens when you first launch it, but make sure this is here is all correct. Okay, make sure it's located in uh, the right folders. Favorite server. Like I've done before, you want to copy the exact Island Life top one. I don't think URL. Bottom one is not needed. Okay. Then click import server. Then click download add-ons. Then check for add-ons. Then click download, and this will put the add-ons TCG folder. And then the fuck the password. Anyway, uh, and then you will scroll down to get the password, which sh uh, that's going to be blocked out. Of course, it's going to be. You'll see it blocked out. Um, and then you copy the password, whatever it is. Download the add-ons. Then you go to. Back to the Armour 2 launcher. Uh, when the add-ons are installed, make, you'll see PCG pop up here once you download them from add-on sync. Drag and drop, drop, done, click start. For the sake of it, uh, I'll turn window mode on and uh, start the Armour Sorry about that guys, I was reading a message. Okay, you want to go onto multiplayer. You want to go to filter. You want to put in tactical combat gaming. Okay. Make sure you got these guys set to zero, zero, zero. Then, okay, sorry, apologize. And then you want to join a server, which Alice, I'll just type in. And the password will be, password to be shown on add-on sync, like I told you. Connect. And join us. Well. It's counting down the original number. It's just a visual glitch where it goes back to some amount. Make sure you joined an untrained 
slot with normal patrol slots. Do not join the train only slots. You need to uh, look on the forms to find out what a training date is. Blah blah blah. Pick a slot. Make sure you read the rules, and that's the end of the tutorial. Hey guys, thank you very much, and welcome to TCG.